Up to the minute weather information is always available on the AM 1300 website, day or night. When you want the weather, check our website at wrcr.com. AM 1300. Radio Rockland. The following program is furnished by its producer, host, and sponsor. All right, good evening, y'all. Welcome back. Welcome to the Gumbo Yaya Radio Show. We hope y'all all having a good night out there, and we appreciate you joining us in. Join in with us this evening. We got a great lineup for you. Um, last week, we talked about having Miss Jennifer Brantley on here, and I thought last week was today, so today is... Uh, <laughs> Today is is the day. So um, we have uh, Miss Jennifer Brantley joining us. Also, we have a very special um, guest um, as well, Mr. Brian DeBruyler. Uh, Soul Records is going to be checking in with us. And um, we're going to get into uh, um, what's happening with uh, Miss Brantley and, and her music as well as Soul Records and, and what they have going on out there. And we want you all to participate. We want you to join us. And uh, if you would... Uh, check us out on Facebook. Check us out on uh, at Gumbo Yaya Radio Show, and also uh, our website Gumbo Yaya Radio Show dot Banzoogle dot com. And uh, if you want to participate, be a part of the program. Give us a call eight four five three six two zero zero one three. So now, just so you know, y'all, um, we're we're kind of manning these phones ourselves. So uh, let's see what happens here. We're going to try to pick up Brian. Hey, Brian. You got, can you hear me now? Hey, brother. We got you. Cool, cool. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, this is uh, the CEO and founder of Soul Records, fantastic organization. Brian, say hello to Adam, my uh, my partner over here. Hey, Brian. How are you? Good. Nice to meet you, Adam. Nice to meet you. What are you wearing? <laughs> <laughs> Redneck and a thong. <laughs> Big smile. <laughs> all right. I have to leave now. <laughs> so, all right. So let's do this first of all, Brian. Let's tell everybody about Soul Records. The, you know how how it got started and um, and what y'all are up to. Sure, sure. Uh, yeah, Soul Records, man. It's uh, I I started the label back in the early nineties. Uh, just to release some of the uh, projects that I was working on, recording stuff at the time, and and uh, it's kind of evolved over the years uh, to you know including different artists. Uh, it was 1994 is when I founded it, and um, has been you know pretty much a part of the Midwest country Americana kind of music scene since you know since then. Now uh, you're in. Ohio, right? Or Indiana? Which one is I'm ac- it? I'm actually in Indiana. All right. I'm sorry. Southeast, southeastern. I'm, I'm 20 minutes from Cincinnati. That's the closest major metro area, I guess you could say. Now, you, Soul Records is, um, y'all have quite a posse over there. Now, let's talk about the, the artists that you have, how that came about, um, your role, you know, as far as a musician and a producer. Sure, sure. Um, well, uh, I've got some got some great bands on the on the roster, and uh, we're all like one big family, and that's that's uh, a big part of the of the business model here at Soul is that you know everybody's uh, everybody's involved with everything all the time. So, um, but I've got you know Dallas Moore Band, which you're familiar with. I've uh, been working with Dallas since the early '90s. He and I kind of got into all this together i i recorded his first uh record which was uh heroes have always been cowboys hang on and, a second uh, we got all right go ahead got a wild song <laughs> <laughs> so oh, shoot but no i i recorded his first cd uh it's back in the 90s it's called my heroes have always been cowboys and and uh he kind of went off on on you know kind of went our separate ways and and doing similar things and and uh back in uh 2008 uh we had a mutual friend that was uh involved with us in the music business mr uh, ken glidewell he was he was unfortunately killed in a motorcycle accident and uh when we got together you know we we had been talking about relaunching the label and and bringing in a bunch of different acts and really stepping things up 
and uh, he was part of that process and when that all took place it kind of inspired us to uh to really get moving on stuff and and dallas and i got back together and uh recorded his first uh first record i'd done with him since his first record which was uh can't tame a wildcat and uh kind of kind of went on from there but uh also have uh pure grain on the label and uh, i've released some other projects called uh pepper town and and of course have ridge runner which i think you guys are familiar with i know you've played some of their stuff on the air too yeah um Ridge Runner, you know the guys are Jeff Workman, the guys over there, Pepper Town, and um, I mean, I like I like all the bands. What I like about it is, and we talked about it. Um, actually, they mentioned it on the show prior to this is they were talking about um, how they like that old country music and not the the pop, you know, like the the junk that's coming out today, right. and uh, not that you know necessarily that's because you know Dallas Moore could probably. Uh, you know whip whip any man alive that's <laughs> so uh but anyway for, for folks that are listening in the number here is 845-362-0013 we have brian debuler de Bruyler on the phone with us um with soul records and um yeah so just wanted to get that number out for folks if y'all want to call in and chat with brian got any questions for him um brian if you would please give people um the the website information and stuff where they can check out your bands and then we'll get back on on the topic of uh, talking about you know where they're at what they're doing okay cool uh yeah the website is soulrecords.com uh it's s-o-l records.com and uh there's all kinds of stuff on there we've got uh some free music if you want to uh, sign up for our email list there's a, a thing on the front page where you can you can put in your email address and, and uh, we'll send you send you some free stuff some free music so that's always fun well listen I, I, I love the music and uh, Adam you may hopefully um, um, yeah yeah I may hopefully, <laughs> I may um, hopefully yeah. Brian send us some uh, Brian sent us uh, some uh, a couple tunes off of I believe it's Dallas Moore's new album yeah. Yeah, it actually comes out uh, next Tuesday, the 29th. So you guys will be cool. uh, you guys will be debuting it, man, on the air. We'll be debuting it at your local record stores, or it's out on the web, or or you can buy it on uh, it'll iTunes. It'll be available or on iTunes and and pretty much anywhere you know you can get uh, as far as the digital downloads. Um, all the all the main retailers, Rhapsody, Amazon.com, all that stuff, and and the CDs, the actual hard copies we have for sale on the Soul Record site and also on uh, Dallas's site as well, which is dallasmore.com. Dallasmore.com. And what's your site again? Soulrecords.com, S-O-L, records. Soul, like the sun, huh? Soul yeah. Records? Yeah, exactly. It's, it's warm. Is it warm in there, out there in Cincinnati? <laughs> it's either that or, you know, shit out of luck. <laughs> hey, I got a question for you. Now, something big is on the horizon there for uh, for um, for Dallas Moore and them. So, uh, what is it? It's some kind of uh, t- number one on Reverb? Y'all, why? What's going on with the video? Oh, yeah, yeah. The single, um, the first single from, from Blessed, we put the video out for that, like, back in November. And uh, it has been number one on the Y'all Wire Top 100 and uh, Country and the Alternative, all three charts, uh, for like the last eight weeks. And uh, getting a lot of views over there, and and, uh, people are really uh, digging the tune and digging the video, and it's uh, picking up some momentum. It's pretty exciting. That's awesome, man. So you got Dallas, the Dallas Boy Man. Dallas Moore Band, um, <laughs> Pepper Town, and now what? A, Ridge Runner and who else is over there with you? Pure Grain, and and I've got a new group coming into the into the family here called Red Beard's Revenge. They're they're the newest addition. I'm I'm working on a record right now with them in the studio, and uh, my brother James Funk. I'm real excited to uh, to get that project out, and uh, you know we're we're just kind of slowly growing but like i said we're one big happy family here and and uh trying to like you said uh you know our main focus is is kind of that that uh lost aspect of country and roots music you know tying back to pretty much anything americana blues soul all that stuff all right now here's the thing um i'm gonna play i want to try to um i'm gonna see if i can't get uh blessed be the bad ones queued up here from uh where you sent me and while i'm doing that okay. wh- 
you don't have a huge posse, but what you do is you have quality. How do you go about deciding, you know, when you want to work with an artist? Now, I have a friend who, in, in Texas, who, that's what he does. He markets, he manages, he produces. He's very well known in the industry, and and he's the kind of the guy that puts the puts the ribbon, you know, puts the bow around it, and, and, and the artist, and gets him out there. What is it for you that makes you say, yeah, I want this guy here. This is this works for my label. It's just got to be something that you know kind of resonates with the whole crowd. Um, it's it's not something we step into lightly. We have a lot of groups approach us about getting involved, and and you know the label kind of functions like a musicians collective as much as it does a record label. But uh, I think you know most of the time we're, when we're out playing, we'll run into a group and and uh, meet some new people and and uh, kind of. Uh, that kind of leads into it. Um, I do get a lot of demos and stuff from other artists, but uh, it's definitely more on a on a personal kind of relationship level for sure. So it's music that you'd like to see get out there to the public. Music that, Absolutely. that yeah, because the feel. people I recommend he shot down because <laughs> I redneck. You know what? We gotta skip on that one. You know, I, Johnny and it. But uh, so you know, um. You know, I'm a huge fan of the label and of all the artists of, you know, Ridge Runner, um, you know, and, and, and uh, Pepitana, you know. Uh, so, I mean, Pure Grain, the, you know, the trucking song, the trucking song by Pure Grain is, um, that, that, I think that video was just, is all over the place. They have a line dance and everything. So, yeah. um, this is what I want to do. Um, the number here for folks to call in, if you got a question for Brian, if you want, if y'all want to know about, you know, how, you know, Again, give the website and stuff, and people can call in here at 845-362-0013. If y'all got a question about getting into the music business, record labels, that kind of thing, y'all give us a call. Um, so give the website one more sign, Brian, and we're going to play uh, a couple of tunes and then come back to you. How's that sound? Okay, cool. It's uh, website is soul, S-O-L, records.com. All right, soul records, S-O-L, records.com. Okay, and we got Marcello's on the phone, so... Um, um, then we're gonna play. A, we're gonna play. Blessed be the bad ones, and then we'll come right back to you. All right? Okay. Hang on one sec, Brian. Right, cool. So uh, Mercedes, we got some music here. We'll bring this up. Dead a long time ago. Yeah. All right, you know what? Hang on, hang on. Here's, here we go. We're gonna start. A, all right, y'all. I'm stepping on myself here. So this is what we're gonna do. This is Blessed like be the bad ones. Uh, Dallas cool. Moore Band. It's red. You know, it, when you get Dallas Redneck Moore Radio. Band. Yeah. Yeah. So this is Dallas Moore Band. Blessed be the bad ones. Shoot me in the back of my truck, are you? And uh, <laughs> well, you know, we'll just we'll shoot you in the front. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go. Hang on, Brian. Y'all check this out, and uh, we'll be right back right after this. Dallas Moore Band. Blessed be the bad ones. To the nights I can't remember And the things I won't forget Should have been dead a long time ago But they ain't got me yet Oh, blessed be the bad ones like me Blessed be the bad ones like me What you started I'm here to do just that God just might forgive you But you know that I can't Oh, blessed be the bad ones like me Blessed be the bad ones like me Yeah town to do what I've got to do Ain't no more looking back for me My sights are set on you Oh, blessed be the bad ones like me Blessed be the bad ones like me Blessed be the bad ones like me Blessed be the bad ones like me.
I can't remember And the things I won't forget Should have been dead a long time ago All right. All right. So that was Blessed Be the Bad Ones, Dallas Moore Band. Brian, you still there? That makes me want to play air guitar. Even How about it, Brian? Can you hear me? Yeah, man. So what do you think? You like that, Adam? I like that. I was up here on the table playing the air guitar. I just wish I had a real instrument and knew how to play. <laughs> I, just, I was going nuts over here. I think I just threw my neck out. <laughs> yeah, yeah and that's a great tune, man. And the video is is a pretty serious video. So, um, now this when this gets released, when's the release date for this official? Uh, next, next Tuesday, January 29th. Next Tuesday. And listen, Brian, is there any reason? I mean, listen, uh, you know, we love you, all right. But uh, you know, let's get Jeff on here. Let's get let's get Dallas on here. You know, let's get your fans on here. If y'all are listening, y'all want to y'all want to give us a call. Okay. 845-362-0013 845-362-0013 can, can I ask you a quick question? Sure So now, now I, I live in, in Rockland But I, I lived like for 20 years in New York City And, and, I, and I'm Jewish am I, am I still allowed to buy this album? Absolutely <laughs> Alright yeah. There's no sort of there's no, I'm not precluded from doing it, so Because of my religion <laughs> uh, if, you, if you like music that's real, man, that's that's what we do. <laughs> All right. That's it. All right. And, uh, hey, guess what? We got Tim O'Donohue in here, the TMU band. So, uh, hey, um, whenever, uh, Brian, when you send the boys Hi. up here, you're going to get, y- y'all got to jam with Timmy O. Hi, Brian. How you yeah, doing? We can do that. Good to meet you, man. Nice to see you. Nice to hear you tonight. Tim's a, a Hudson Valley. I'd say Rockland staple, but he's a Hudson Valley staple. Yeah. He, all um, over we, we do the winery in Warwick and, uh, and a lot of places, right? That's it. Orange County, Burton mm-hmm. County, Rockland County. Yeah. I'm like litter all over the place. I picked him up unconscious off of many roads <laughs> in Rockland. It's <laughs> it happens. So mm-hmm. what about what about this um the last thing, uh Soul Records? Y'all did a big bash with with um the whole fam family, didn't you, recently? With uh yeah, pure New Year's New Year's Day is Pure Grain, Dallas Moore and uh uh-huh. fifth on the floor now. It, uh those guys, um they started out with, with me here on Soul and, and they've uh still part of the family but they they've kinda of moved on to some other stuff. Uh Shooter Jennings produced their latest record and and uh they they've signed oh wow yeah because shooter the whole jennings clan man that whole jennings clan knows music inside and out yeah so yeah, i mean big it's supporters of us everybody here at soul too man good people good people that's fantastic look this is what i'm going to do here um they um they can they can go to soul records sol records.com yep all right and uh they can get any of those cds they want your friends, your fan. If y'all, hey, listen. If y'all want a CD, give me give me a call eight four five three six two zero zero one three. If you're out there listening and you want a, a CD, eight four five three six two zero zero one three. And um, Brian, I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna buy the first CD, but you got to get Dallas to autograph it. I'm gonna give that to one of my listeners. All right. Right on. All right. If they call that number, they can get a CD. If they call here eight four five three six two zero zero one three. If y'all want to get the Dallas Moore CD, give us a call. And uh, I know you got you got I'm things to do, Brian. Um, so any any uh, last shout outs? Anything else you want to touch on? We're gonna play another song and let you get off the phone here. Uh, no, I mean not really, man. I mean you know we were, we were talking earlier about you know like kind of what sets Soul different apart from some of the other labels that are out there, and and I, I think the main thing is you know I kind of mentioned it earlier. We just try to you know do music that's real. I mean we're not really you know fabricating anything here or saying you know hey we want to make this kind of record or that kind of record it's it's really about just embracing what the artist is and and trying to capture that uh in a recording and and uh you know on some of the more major labels and different stuff you know the artists kind of lose control over that to some perspective and it's really important to us that Everybody kind of stays true to themselves, and, and you know we don't want to mess with that. So. Well, you're a musician yourself, though. I mean, and I yeah. think that's that that kind of makes the difference, doesn't it, or no? Yeah, I, I think it gives me a, you know a, a split perspective. I, I can look at things from from the drummer angle, or or uh, you know the the recording side of it, and and of course the you know running the label and the promotions and things like that. It's uh, quite a few different hats to put on but uh keeps me busy (laughs) 
Uh, uh, Brian, I'm a, I'm, I'm a front man, so I know which angle you're looking at me at if you're the drummer. <laughs> no, but, I'm up on a riser, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm six foot four, man. <laughs> anyway, it sounds like the kind of, your record label is uh, it's built for the artist. That's what it's, that's what it's all about. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, you know, yeah. Brian, I've been trying to get you up here for a while. You know, you you know that like I'm. That's what. That's why we're doing this. It's about y'all. About you know what? I got in trouble. Um, my my daughter told me I say y'all too much, and I'm not gonna give her. A, I'm not gonna call out on radio. But so use. That's what it's about. Use, use guys. Use guys. Yeah, you gotta do the so, use guys. Uh, so, uh, but I, I've been trying to get you up here. You you know, um, WFDU, the guys over there at the country state on those country programs, they love your music. They play it all the time. So I'm just glad that I'm. I'm able to. Uh, they actually played "Blessed Be the Bad One." So, of these, um, which one you said was your favorite? Slipping and sliding, something changed. Which one you sh- do you think we should go out on here? Something changed is a really cool track, man. It's it's kind of haunty and and dark sounding, and it, it, for some reason, I just really dug the mix of that track. All right. Well, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna we're gonna play "Something Changed" by "Blessed Be the Bad Ones." The number here is eight four five three six two zero zero one three eight four five three six two zero zero one three. Uh, you s- give us Use a call. Guys, yeah. yeah. And um, we're gonna we're gonna let you go, Brian. And uh, listen, if y'all wanna get a hold of Soul Records, you can visit them at soulrecords dot com. Or here, hang on, I got his cell phone number here. Let me see if That's I can. S O L S O L Records dot <laughs> com. SOLrecords.com. So, um, all right. So, listen, Brian, I appreciate you taking the time out of the schedule. Uh, make sure that you and your friends go by and visit us on Facebook, sign a guest book on the website, yeah, man. and check in with us on a regular basis, all right? And I'll send you that money out of you. I'll see what I can do about getting some of the other guys in on, on the calls next, next time. All right. And uh, um, for those, those of you that are out there listening, <laughs> um, if you visit our website, we're going to keep you updated on everybody in the soul posse, where they're going and what they're doing. So, Brian, we appreciate it. We're going to go out of here with something changed. And um, we'll be back right after this. Thanks a lot, Brian. You take what, care now. You hear? What, what changed? All right, man. Take something, care, something, Brian. Something changed? Yeah, Some, what? Absolutely. <laughs> we never find out what it is. I can't tell you just how long it's been. Dallas Morgan. It's good to see you again. I missed you, girl. Yeah, I still remember way back then. Way back when you were my whole world. Something changed in the way you used to love me. It all just slipped away. Lost the fire that you once had burning for me And now there's only ashes where once there burned a flame And I don't know what happened, all I know is something changed Looks so different since the night you left Left me by myself, all alone I can't place exactly what it is Maybe it's your new dress Or your new walk and talk Something changed in the way you used to love me It all just slipped away You lost the fire that you once had burned for me And now there's only ashes Where once there burned a flame I don't know what happened All I know is something changed Been a while now, girl, since you've been gone So I moved on, and I'm doing good these days Guess we're past the point to work it out Hell no, there ain't no doubt Something changed Something changed in the way you used to love me It all just slipped away the fire that you once had burned for me, and now there's only ashes where once 
watch their burn to flame And I don't know what happened All I know is something changed Something changed in the way you used to love me It all just slipped away You lost the fire that you once had burned for me Now there's only ashes where once there burned a flame And I don't know what happened All I know is something changed Right, ladies and gentlemen, that was the Dallas Moore Band, part of the Soul Records, SOL, Soul Records. Check them out, soulrecords.com, Dallas Moore Band. Um, they got a ton of great artists over there. We just had Brian DeBrule on. He was, he's the CEO and founder.